In the previous video, we showed you the supply zone at $18,510 and as you see, the Bitcoin price got rejected exactly from this resistance and now we are trending back at support. Right now, it's a decision time. Is it going to pump back to the supply zone or to the nearest resistance level or are we going to break the support zone and are we going to retest the local bottom? You will get to know what is going to happen next with the highest probability again in this video so sit back relax and let's get into it hello ladies and gentlemen this is Samo from my crypto paradise and as you can see bitcoin is just forming a double bottom at our important support zone at 16,500. after the rejection from the supply zone at around 18,500, we have been with our paradise family vips getting out of our long positions from bitcoin and ethereum as you can see right here after the surge to the upside we have been moving our stop loss to 18,000 to secure profits and then we got out from the trade for around 9% profit which with 2x leverage got us a nice 18% profit very safe profit and also for the ethereum we have traded there with 1x leverage and basically we placed the hard stop loss to 1304 we already moved it before the price started to dump again so we trail stop loss right here we got out of the trade and we secured 6 0.9%. So that is for the price only VAPs and now let's get back to what's happening at the current market. So as already said we are forming a double bottom at our support zone and that is very good because if we break below this support zone 16,500 it's not gonna get very nice for bulls. If we close a daily candle below the support zone right here, 16,500 to 16,000, we are definitely gonna revisit this local bottom at 15,500. It's gonna be retested for four times already because we have been testing it once here for a second time here and for a third time here. So this is gonna be a fourth time that we will be testing the local bottom and as you already know the more times we test some area it the weaker it gets right for the resistance the more we test it the weaker it gets and the higher probability of a breakout and for the supports the weaker it gets and the higher probability for a breakdown so the bulls definitely don't want the bitcoin to close a daily candle below the 16,500. so be very careful about this but right now we are still at the support right we are not breaking down anything and from the sentiment perspective and from the probabilities perspective we will not break down this level because as you can see right now it's really clever when we are at some important support zone by the way to watch for the sentiment and if we take a look at the sentiment it recently dropped very hard the sentiment around people on social media like reddit bitcoin talk to Twitter and on Google in general is very bearish and we are at 0.267 which is very low very low and it actually says a lot about the people feelings right now and if we take a look at the funding rates as well you can pretty much see how green this is so 80% of people are basically shorting right now because you can see all the negative funding which means that shorts positions are paying the long positions and this is happening when most of the people are shorting basically the Bitcoin is still kind of neutral but if you take a look at the lower cap coins like Dogecoin, Ethereum Classic, Matic all the negative funding is very visible and it says a lot about the current market mindset so if we start pushing up there is a lot of stop loss above us so most of the people in terms of Bitcoin having placed their stop loss above this breakout zone right so above like uh, 16,800 something like that so if Bitcoin start pushing up we will get these stop losses and it will help the bulls to push the price further to the next resistance which is 17,200 right here we 
turn this to red because it's still just a resistance so this is the higher probability play right now not only from the sentiment perspective which is bearish at support that means basically that Wells will take this advantage but also from the technical spectrum so the stock RSI it's oversold right now we are waiting for this blue line to cross the red line it will be another confirmation that we start pushing up the only bearish sign right here from the technicals is this double diversion RSI and as you can see we had a breakdown but this very often end up in a fake out exactly as we have done around here at uh, 21st November so this might end up in a fake out and we might get back above this blue line and it will really help the bulls to push the price further up so the next resistance area we are gonna face is at seventeen thousand two hundred dollars which is 0 0.618 fibonacci level if you are watching these videos you know that this fibonacci level is very important we have created these two levels the 618 and the 786 at the time we have been pumping up to the supply zone so this resistance is gonna be very hard to break because it also aligns with this blue line which is 100 moving average on a daily time frame so from the price action wise perspective right now we expect the price to move up here to the resistance area from the current price it's gonna be something around six percent profit so very nice gains can be made if we get the confirmation and the price starts moving up and then it really depends on the next price action so if we start to consolidate well, there is gonna be very high chance that this resistance will turn into a support and then after we finish this accumulation which can turn into a bull flag we can start moving back up to the supply zone so this can basically turn into bull, bull frag if we start consolidating in this resistance zone and then it will be very easy to start pushing back to the supply zone uh, and then it's really upon the another price section and for the for the next video because it can either get uh, finished with a double top right we can make a double top and get rejected again or we can start pushing above the supply zone but it really depends on what is going to be happening below this resistance area how are we gonna form the next price section and what is going to be the sentiment around the markets so that's for the next video the current probability game is very clear we think that there is higher much higher probability that we will start pushing up so after more confirmation we definitely open another long position with our paradise family vips if however there is gonna be some for the weakness for example if we start pushing uh, below this uh, support zone and we will close daily candle below uh, 16,500 we will with higher probability start pushing back down to the local bottom so this is for this video ladies and gentlemen let us know in the comments below what you think about binance there is a lot of going on with binance a lot of people think it's insolvent a lot of other people think it's actually solvent and we really sit up in this group we don't think binance is getting anywhere we think uh, they have enough money to keep going through this bear market but let us know your opinions why you think Binance might be insolvent and we will be very happy to discuss all the information you might have in the comment section below all right ladies and gentlemen this was summer from my keto paradise i will see you in the next video cheers